Hey y'all, how's it going? Hope you're all doing well and I hope you're all staying safe as usual. So today we have got a pretty cool Skull the Hero Slayer run and this one was pretty special because it was very unusual and that is a Madness Yaksha run. And the deal with Yaksha is that it's a power skull, meaning that it's a bit slower but hits harder. Now combined with Madness, Madness is an inscription that you get from items that basically increases your attack speed. So I ended up getting some really cool items. I got the Thief's Armor, I got the Explosive Arrow, we got Berserker's Gauntlet, we got a lot of cool stuff in here. So I hope you all enjoy the run. If you enjoy this content and want to see more stuff like this, feel free to hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell for notifications. And let's get started. So the deal with this game is that you don't end up with the skulls that I'd be talking about right away. You usually end up with kind of more basic type of skulls. In this case, we have the Carlean Recruit and we have the Ent Skull. Ent Skull is actually really good in the first or in the first biome or two, but unfortunately kind of tapers off a little bit towards the end. I really like Ent Skull's skills, I would say. I like the Downward Fist. I like the Friend Tree. I just think they look visually awesome. I like the running skill, unfortunately it doesn't really work when it comes to bosses outside of the final boss, but yeah, I mean, you know, we're doing our thing. I really like the attack where Carlay and Recruit summons the different enemies. You have the Archer, which I'll show in a future run, and then you have the regular Carlay and Soldier. Both of them are really powerful, cool attacks. Uh, we will not be sticking with them for that long because we are going to pick up the Yaksha at some point, and It'll come soon, don't worry, it'll come way sooner than you guys think because uh, I had some amazing RNG this game. A lot of people may think that Power Skulls are not meant for madness builds because they're slow, but I like it as like a countering act measure. So anyways, we have got the first elite of this game, which is the, I have no idea how to say her name, I just call her the Sorceress. So you can call her the Sorceress, I call her Sorcerer Jim. Um, if you get the reference, let me know, you probably don't, but anyways, uh, just swap into Ent, get some good hits off, we are going to be able to swap back into Carly and Recruit, use our skill, and we're going to stun her, and we're going to be able to get the kill off from there, and now, the man of the hour, the man, the myth, the legend, Yaksha. First level, we get the Yaksha. I am so excited. I was so pumped when I saw this. I was like, we have to either have a full-on madness run or we have to have something really cool like a just an out-and-out power bone of courage type of build. My first priority was to go with the out-and-out power stuff just because of the fact that madness is kind of tricky with power skills, again, due to the slow nature. But once I saw Raker Free, I was like, yeah, we, we should go full madness here because you're going to see how fast Yaksha gets here. And just the foot stamping down. The way Yaksha works is essentially, you see the meter on the bottom, it says 4 out of 4. What happens is that when you use your attack or some of your skills, it basically will increase the counter from 0 to 4. And then every time you do the combo, it'll increase the counter by 1. And when you hit 4, the next one, you are actually going to get the big stamp. And you can see it does a lot of damage. Yidrasol goes down just like that. And we are moving on. Really, really good start to the run. And I didn't get hit at all with Yidrasil. Uh, I'm going to get hit a lot later on. Power Skulls, you tend to get hit a lot. And I was thinking of doing like an execution type of build because I saw Master Brawler. And I was like, you know, Master Brawler is really good. But I don't know. Sometimes you got to adapt a little bit. Fun fact about this room, if you go all the way to the left side, you get a couple new enemies and that gets you more gold, potentially some healing items if you don't get hit. In this case, I did get hit, so it didn't even matter. Yaksha's swap and attack is phenomenal, and it's just doing a lot of damage with that Rake of Fury. I pick up the 11th Finger of Lightning or whatever it's called. It's, uh, it's a good item, but it doesn't really work on this build because Yaksha doesn't really have any magic stuff going on. I'm going to beat up the little sword guy, spear guy, I don't know what he's called, but... I love Yaksha's little power punch thing. It's so good and it stuns enemies if you don't kill them. But you can see even with a very bulky enemy like the big guy over here, it does more than half. It does 60% and I haven't even gotten much synergy on the build yet. I really haven't. I don't have that much physical attack. We're going to get that later on. But yeah, this is going really nicely. And then you can see me kind of prepping up my little uh, attack just so I can get that big stampy thing going on. And yeah, I'm, I'm just going to face tank a lot during this battle. It's like running survival in Dead Cells. You tend to face tank a lot. And, you know, I'll go for these feints attacks. I'm just going to keep going. And then 
I'm just going to make sure that I can stamp this uh, archer down to death. And I'm able to break her before she does her big power attack. And that's really cool. I'm able to kill her before she does anything. Yeah, she got a couple hits off, but it doesn't matter. And when it comes to the little sword basic guy, I knock him out quickly. You can see that power punch stuns enemies. Like, and with maids, absolutely. It's really, really good. So, I mean, it's basically like a mutant, bone of hourglass, all of that. Like, put it into one skill. That's really cool. I love Yaksha. I, I find it to be criminally underrated. You can see right now I have the Mage's Necklace. I'm not going to keep it forever just because of the fact that Mage's Necklace does magic damage. And while it's good utility, while I have some good cooldown speed on my skills, uh, I don't know. It's not necessarily the best option for me. But I see Thief's Black Steel Dagger. I see the Emergency Bomb. I'm like, okay, we've got something going now. We have really got something going. You can see I, see, I saw the Mage's Necklace right there. I was thinking about picking up the Ritual Staff, but then I was like, you know what, this is a full-on Yaksha run. If you pick up Yaksha in the first level, you gotta stick with it the rest of the time. Uh, but yeah, Yaksha's doing a lot of damage now. And with the Thief's Black Steel Dagger, the crits are gonna be very frequent. Yeah, we, we've got something really good going on here. <laughs> and even the Big Stamp's gonna be getting a lot of crits. You can see 565 damage in the second biome. Just absolutely insane. I'm running rough shot through these enemies because of the Rake of Fury. Just so much damage. So much damage. This room is a little tricky because if the spear guy kind of hangs out in the middle, uh, he's going to do his upwards attack. Sometimes it's hard to dodge. Dodging is a little bit harder when it comes to power skulls, but in turn, they don't take that much damage. So it, it's a, it's touching to go, right? Unfortunately, I missed the big stamp on the big guy. I would have gotten the kill if I had been able to get it off, but unfortunately, it's not what happened. But we're going to move on to the Liana sisters, kind of jumping around a little bit. And Liana Sister is kind of difficult with Power Skulls, in my opinion, just because of the fact that they attack so quickly and Power Skulls tend to take a while to get started. But, you know, we're going to do our thing right away. We're going to avoid the three little uh, spear shuriken things sh shooting at you. I'm very bad when it comes to uh, weapon names and just the enemy names. I, I have the same problem in Dead Cells, but um, I still call Yggdrasil Tree Guy, for example. At least the Liana sisters, I can actually say their name right now, which is amazing. But with one skull, no swap attacks, you can see I already had a Liana sister down to 25% HP, which is just absolutely insane. And we're going to kill her very, very soon. And actually, all we needed was a simple dash attack to knock her out. Now the second Liana sister is mostly at full health. We are going to experience the Mecha Liana sister, who is a little bit harder, but actually isn't that bad. I just tend to get very careless in the fight. Speed Skulls definitely perform way better against her. I would say against Yggdrasil and the Chimera, Power Skulls have a much better time, but Liana Sisters, they tend to struggle outside of Predator, I would say. Just because, again, Liana Sisters attack fast, Power Skulls are slow. It's like in Dead Cells, you know, different uh, builds tend to struggle against different bosses. Things like that happen, and it's fine. But either way, we're, we're getting a lot of damage off. The big power punch, 699 crit damage. That's absolutely insane. <laughs> it's awesome. I, I'm absolutely loving this build right now. And the madness is only going to get madder, y'all. So we are going to open up the chest. We are going to see the Dusa, the cooldown speed. So that's going to be even more interesting. But we're not going to stick with that forever. Uh, I'm going to work on the summoners just because I don't want to deal with the big purple summoner. I don't know what it's called. Uh, if anyone knows, uh, leave a comment. If anyone knows the enemy, the official enemy names, uh, send me a resource. Is it on the wiki? Because I know the wiki isn't like complete yet, just because the full release hasn't happened. But either way, uh, this room's tricky, especially with the power skull when you don't have as many uh, jumps and dashes, and the jumps are slower. So sometimes you end up at the bottom, and then you have to kind of deal with uh, more enemies on the bottom, which I'm lazy and I don't want to do that. I do have Jin. I picked it up just for the swap attack, but Berserker's Gauntlet, we're going to pick it up right away because I know I have a Power Skull. I'm going to get hit. Now, this may seem weird, but I am going to get rid of my Carlane Insignia right now because I'm like, okay, you know what? We have stuff going on, and I have a full Madness build here, so I pick up the Jagamon Thorn. I'm going to replace the... What do what I replace? The Sword, yes, because I don't want too much duel on this build. I have two right now. Um, I had three. I was thinking about Ninja Mask, and I was like, eh, probably not a good idea. Now when we pick up the Giant's Ask Axe, and I decide, you know what? We're not doing an execution run anymore. We are going to try for this madness thing, but I am going to pick up the Giant Axe just to get a little more power on here and a little more just ridiculous damage. 
So, we have the Gen. I just want to use the Swap Attack for the Aksha because it is really good. Knock out the Summers really quickly. Now I gotta deal with the Potion Thrower Alchemist dudes. Um, yeah, this is insane. This is absolutely insane. Yaksha is a speed skull right now. Think about how awesome that is. Now we have the explosive arrow combined with the thief's armor. So what are we going to replace? What are we going to replace? I have so much madness on the build right now. We are going to get rid of, I believe, the emergency bomb because the emergency bomb tends to activate certain enemies that I don't want it to. Now we're going to go fight the next set of elites. It's going to be awesome. <coughs> So now we have the ninja gym, we have the sorceress gym, and we have the big gym. And yeah, uh, this is going to be awesome. But unfortunately, with these set of enemies, it does become a bit more difficult. Uh, especially when the fire gym is throwing stuff at me. Not the most fun thing in the world. Um, I'm very bad when it comes to the timing of stuff like Jin. Uh, it is what it is, I suppose. But Yaksha's come back. Now I can just start firing off as much as possible. Break everybody. Um, and then, oh, ooh, ooh, Yaksha just coming through with the stamp. I'm going to avoid all the fireballs. I don't get the summon off in time, or I don't get the stun off in time. I could have if I really wanted to, but I just figured it wasn't worth it. Now we just have the ninja. Just do a faint attack, down slam on him, and then we're just going to avoid him for the rest of this uh, match. And then we're just going to move on from there. Uh, we're going to wait for him to do his big power attack. We're going to just dodge everything, just play it safe, because I am a little low on health. Uh, Berserker's Gauntlet is pretty much activated by this point. So now I'm just trying to figure out, okay, like, how can I do this productively? But with Explosive Arrow and with my attack speed, yeah, we're, we're fine. <laughs> we are fine. Uh, you can see the Ogre goes down very, very, very quickly. Um, and all the big ghosts go down. Just everyone's going down. Now the big alchemist, we're going to take it down as well. The power punch stuns him. Where you see the ruby heart, obviously not going to pick it up. Ruby heart's not very good. Uh, we're going to move on to the next room. And then from here, uh, I'm able to just kill these summoners very quickly. Because, yeah, I got rid of a couple items that gave me physical damage. But it doesn't matter. Just because of the fact that I was able to get so much damage off. Because of the explosive arrow and the thief's armor and my attack speed. It doesn't matter. I'm actually getting more damage off just because of the pure attack speed. I basically turned Yaksha into a speed skull, and that's awesome. Plus, the dash also gives the shurikens because it's a full out and out. It's a full out and out attack. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we see Weapon Master. I'm gonna replace the uh, what's what is it? The Medusa, just because I want more physical damage. Because I did get rid of some physical damage, so I want even more. I have 5 Madness on the build. Unfortunately, I will not be getting that last Madness on this build. But you can see, Giant Axe, Jagamon, Thorn, Berserker's Gauntlet, Rake of Fury, Thorny Boots, Weapon Master, Thief's Armor, Thief's Black Steel Dagger, and the Explosive Arrow. Pretty cool build. And we are going to head into this last fight, which is the Chimera fight. And you can see Yaksha just kind of slowly walk. And I picked up Minotaur along the way just to have another Power Skull on me. Just to see if this would work. It does not work in the same way that it works for Yaksha. Because Yaksha's combo is absolutely awesome. Um, it's a lot faster than you think. Even, like, I know I have 5 Madness on the build. But it's faster than you guys think. I absolutely love Yaksha. I, I think, I don't know if it's an S tier Skull. I think it's definitely at least A tier though. Because for me, like... It's funny because a lot of you see my Dead Cells runs and you may not realize that I actually like a lot of survival weapons. I don't run a lot of survival builds, but Yaksha, in my opinion, is the best power skull. Uh, maybe Predator is better, but you can see I'm just firing off my, we my uh, what's it called? The I completely forgot what my Quintessence was. It's the one that gives me the 65%, uh, but it's awesome. I, you can see all these explosions going on. This is a very quick fight. And this is with the Power Skull who's slow too. Which is why actually, in a weird way, Madness makes sense on something like Yaksha. But we're going to get the kill off very, very, very quickly. And what's nice is that all the spears from uh, this, uh, from my Quintessence are projectiles as well. So they're going to also give into the Explosive Arrow. So you're going to be able to see me get the final kill off from here. Uh, big stamp just to close this thing out. We're going to get a couple more hits off. Send all the spears his way. Camara's done, and what a run. 
what a run. Very unusual, right? You don't typically think of Power Skulls as fast outside of Predator, but Yaksha definitely has some speed to him, and uh, this was a great run. I had so much fun with this one. These are the type of runs that I really enjoy. I love my Alchemist broken mana engine, mana bone type of runs. Those are great. But stuff like this is what makes the game fun for me because you get to play around with different things. You get to play around with different items. And it just goes to show that like so many different items can synergize in so many different and unique ways. Which is why this is actually my favorite game right now. I'm so excited for the full release. I recommend that you guys check this game out. But thank you all so much for joining me on this one. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch my content. If you like, subscribe for more Skull the Hero Slayer, Dead Cells, and all of that good stuff. I'll see you all later. Have a great night, everybody, and stay safe out there. Sideways, but how am I the one to blame when you're distorting pictures? Call my name. Looking sideways, but how am I the one to blame?